here with the New Vision Media Group. And who are you? I'm Elliot Schlamm, the CEO. And uh, what are we looking at here? This is a uh, new and very different uh, reflective or transflective display technology. Um, it's uh, made with uh, very thin films of uh, polymer uh, and is appropriate for billboards and outdoor signage. Uh, it can basically function like an LED, but at one tenth the power, one tenth the cost, and one tenth the, the weight. power, one tenth the weight, and one seventh the cost. <laughs> LED backlight, or what? Well, LED billboards. LED. So you know there are billboards all around the country now that uh, made uh, of LEDs that that change their messages. So the owners of the billboards make a lot of money in in leasing time on the billboards, but they're very expensive. And they consume enormous amounts of power, um, and they're heavy. The installation is difficult. Maintenance is difficult. It's just it's just paper that's being uh, lit up, right? Well, the, 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 the LEDs emit light. The, oh, yeah. you know, they're like the 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 the, LED, the red light on your camera. Okay. They actually emit light, uh, and they glow. Very many communities don't like them at night because like what they, have they on light Times up Square? the air. Like what they have at Times Square, exactly like yeah. what they have at Times Square. So this is uh, the next generation of that? This, we hope, is the next generation of that. It is, uh, as I said, much less expensive, consumes much less power, uh, and is not as obnoxious to the uh, neighborhood uh, in that regard. It can be installed in standard billboards now. Uh, it doesn't even need new installation. So uh, we, we hope it'll make a big difference. So does your company develop this? My company developed this. We, we have patent coverage on it. And where are you based? We're in New Jersey, in Monmouth County. Uh, our main product is uh, dynamic energy efficient windows. We use the same technology uh, to incorporate between the glass in uh, residential and commercial windows. Is this what, similar to here? The, what this is, is this about? This is, is the show? actual display panel uh, all those little uh, aluminum lines are actually foils of polymer that are rolled up. And when you put a voltage on them, they roll out. and they, um, So they function like pixels, either allowing light through or not allowing light through. Um, so you can define uh, the backlight and, uh, and the color filter in any way you want. Uh, when the sun is out, you don't need to emit any light because it's reflective. When the sun goes down, you'd use a very inexpensive fluorescent backlight to illuminate it to the degree that you want to illuminate it. So how many pixels are here? There's about 2,000 there. So Each of those little uh, squares is a pixel. The, uh, well, it's about, it's a three by, f it's a five by seven ratio. So, um, I don't know, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> I haven't calculated yeah. that. Out. Is it like 30 by 50 or something? But. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Uh, approximately, approximately. And, and then, so but that's. And that's exactly what you to see do here. Advertising on a well, big no, scale. It's, this is just a demonstrator. The, the way the LED billboards are made is they're tiled. You have a number of uh, tiles that might be 12 inches or 18 inches, and you actually mesh them together. It's called tiling, and that's how you get that big billboard. Uh, you can't build something like that all in one piece. So you would have tiles of these? You would have tiles of these very much like you'd have tiles of, uh, of LEDs. And they can have as much bright advertising content? And you, you, the, uh, you, you don't need it as bright because you're not competing with the sun. LEDs compete with the sun. So they have to get very, very, very bright in order to be able to see them with the sun shining on them. They need 7,000 nits, which is extremely bright. In this case, because it's reflective, it uses the sun, it reflects the sun. So it's much, much more energy efficient than, uh, than LEDs. So what, how would you call it? Well, we have a technical name for it. It probably needs a better name. It's called electropolymeric display because it uses polymer material and it's electronic. Uh, but we, we need a catchier name than that, which we don't have So EPD? Yet. EPD. This is an EPD color. How many colors do you have? Well, it's just three basic colors, red, blue, and green. And depending on how you turn the pixels on and off, of course, you can create many more colors. Um, you know, but the fundamental colors from any display technology is red, blue, or green. So how soon are we going to see billboards in Times Square with this? Well, uh, 
Not soon enough. <laughs> not, to, not clear. We're actually looking to license this technology uh, to someone who has the wherewithal to really take it and run with it. Uh, our company isn't large enough to really uh, go into uh, uh, high-scale manufacturing of it. So how long have you been working on this? Well, we've been working on the technology for quite a few years. We've been applying it to windows, as I said. Um, but uh, lately, we've just made this demonstrator showing how uh, applicable it is to, uh, to billboards and signage. So we're hoping someone here at the show might uh, see it and, uh, and get an interest in it. Because if it's seventh the cost, that should be the factor right here. And power consumption is the biggest cost also. Yes, it, it has tremendous advantages. Of course, there's still engineering work that has to go into it. But it has tremendous advantages over, uh, over LEDs. How about the uh, competition potentially from, uh, would it be e-ink or some other? Well, uh, e-ink has been around for a while. They have excellent technology. I don't think they have the full range of colors that this technology has, and I'm just not sure if they can compete in this particular marketplace. They've been around for a while, but I haven't, I'm not aware that there's any e-ink signage uh, out there at this time. So if somebody comes with a lot of money, it can be done very quickly, right? I think so, yes. And where would it be manufactured? Anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere around the world. It's easy to manufacture.